Lithuania versus Slovenia. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup win for Good evening and welcome to Manila in the Philippines. It's the FIBA Basketball World Cup and it's the battle between Lithuania and Slovenia in the classification games for five through eight. Well, the Mall of Asia always comes to life when Luka Doncic is in town and is in this venue and he is back after last night's turbulent game against Canada when he was among the two players ejected along with Dylan Brooks. Slovenia no longer in the title hunt, uh, but still here hoping to finish as high as possible in this uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup uh, in an attempt to get some more rankings points as well for the FIBA World Ranking presented by Nike. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor, and really, Mike, you don't, you don't need any additional incentive to come out and play for your national team. I mean, that's like the greatest honor of all. And I know that Luka wants to bring the good times back tonight against a very good Lithuania team. Both of these countries have tremendous pride. It's an honor for both Lithuania and Slovenia players to represent their country. And again, any time these two teams meet, it's an interesting matchup. Lithuania looks to bounce back after last night's disappointing performance. I think they're really happy to play you know, on such short notice. And again, you know, here's Lithuania. They've had such a great run. Their disappointing loss to Serbia the other night in the quarterfinals. Both teams looking to bounce back with wins here in this classification game. Well, both teams have such uh, high, a lot of ambition to go all the way. And Lithuania thought when they beat the United States in the last game of the second round, well, this might be a special year, and I think everybody thought that. And uh, they follow up the win against the USA by just basically getting run off the court against Serbia. I think it came against the run of play. For whatever reason, they were a little bit flat. And, uh, you know, that's just the nature of sport. Some things are inexplicable. Tournaments, like the World Cup, are all about matchups. Catching the right team at the right time. And beating the USA, they actually helped the United States with their matchup against Italy and made their road a little bit more difficult against an outstanding Serbia team. It actually reminds me, Mike, of 2006 when Greece beat the USA in the semifinals of the FIBA Basketball World Cup in Japan. And in the next game, Greece didn't show up. They got beat, they got hammered by Spain. Some, and they still don't know what happened. Yeah, sometimes you can't explain, you know, the way things develop and the way things evolve, but one thing we have to say about this Slovenia team, they have really overachieved. They've been missing some players. They really battled against an excellent Canadian team, came up short, and now we have an outstanding matchup with two good teams, great players, great coaches. I'm excited to see this classification game. Well, you see the 87-82 win for Latvia earlier today. So Latvia will play in the battle for fifth place against the winner of this game. And the loser will take on Italy in a battle for seven. Ladies and gentlemen, so without further ado, we are going to have the, the playing anthem. of the national the anthems. The anthem of Slovenia.
Please remain standing for the national anthem of Lithuania. What a surprise. A lot of fans in the house for this game, and I think we all know why. You got Jonas Valanciunas here. You got Ignis Brasdekis. You got all the Lithuanian fans. Still got some Slovenian fans here. And of course, we've got a lot of you-know-who fans. Luka Doncic. And there are the referees for today's game. Matthew Calio from Canada, Omar Bermudez from Mexico on the left, and Johnny Batista from Puerto Rico on the right. So, uh, refereeing crew from the Americas. And uh, we've also got Chip in the house, flying around. Thanks for coming back, Chip. And his magical powers. And now he can sit up high and look down at the hardwood best seat in the house. Jip, the official mascot, has been terrific, and so have all these players, really, for making it to the quarterfinals. Alexei Nikolic, Mike Toby, Zoran Dragic, Dine Prepolic, and Luka Doncic in the starting five. Giga Samar, uh, Clement Prepolic, Jakob Vlasic, Gregor Horvat, Giga Dimec, Gregor Glass and Chabashek coming off the bench for coach Alexander Sekulic and Luka Doncic. Uh, just a special player. Yeah, again, they need him to lead this team. They need him to do so much. Again, he puts so much into this national team. Takes on the best opponents. Game planning for him, being super physical. He's been so efficient, and they need him to finish the game today. Mike Toby. The point pick and roll combination of Doncic and Toby was so impactful. Prolific. In the years past, but now teams are just switching. When they switch, Slovenia needs Toby to be more of a factor down in the paint. And again, Coach Sikulic, he's done such an outstanding job with this national team over the years. They're missing some key pieces. Vladko Chanchar, Edo Moritz, two key foremen that have been a big part of their team. You know, Jakob Lazic, Hasn't been fit. Yeah, he, he's not going to play tonight. Yeah, so again, give this team credit for getting to where they are. They have really overachieved. The expectations are so high with Doncic. Lithuania will start with Tadas Sedekerskis, Ignis Brasdekis, Rokas Jokovitis, Jonas Valanciunas, and Thomas Dimsha with uh, Margaris Normantis, Bialdunas, Kuzmetskis, Motiunas, Bingius, Karanauskas, and Servitas coming off the bench. And we aren't entirely sure that Benjus is going to play, but we do know that this man is going to play. Jonas Valanciunas is the man for this 
Lithuanian team. He will dominate the inside. This is a huge concern. Look for Ziga Dimec to be a physical factor defensively against this guy. But you love the heart and leadership that Valentunas has demonstrated here at the World Cup. And this guy has had some bright moments as well, Rokos Jokobaitis. And for Jokobaitis, he's responded to every challenge in front of him, and he's got a great challenge today. Jokobaitis gets to go head-to-head -head against Luka Doncic. What a great point guard matchup. Kazis Maxvitas, the head coach. I have loved what this Lithuanian coaching staff has done with their game plans. They've been in top form. Kazis Maxvitas has been really outstanding with his coaches. You know, you could argue they deserve better. They played so well here and they'll, you know, they're battling for classification spot. But, you know, right now going into this game, you have to look at this Lithuanian team as having the advantage with depth and style of play. The big question is, what type of effort will Luka Doncic bring? We saw one of the strengths of Lithuania, their three-point shooting. I guess they, a lot of that's because they made nine in a row at the start of the game against the USA, and they started well against Serbia as well. Seven in a row in the second half against Greece. I mean, but when you think of Lithuania, Jeff. Yeah. Chip. Could be a weightlifter, really. I mean, I'm impressed, really impressed. Hopefully he'll maintain his uh, mascot reputation and work at another uh, tournament. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, I cut you off uh, to talk about Jip. Well, that's always worthwhile, but you know, when you think about Lithuania, you think about outstanding shooting, accurate shooting, and this is what Lithuania has been. They've established the inside presence through posting Valanciunas or posting wings, and then they've been just tremendous with their three-point shooting accuracy leading the World Cup. So this is the challenge for Slovenia tonight. How do they defend Valanciunas and the wings posting inside? And then on the other side, how does Lithuania match up and what's their game plan to guard Doncic? Unlike some other teams, Lithuania, it's unlikely they can be as physical. Look for Lithuania to cross match and put bigger bodies on Doncic, but that's where the interesting parts of this game lie in those matchups. Okay, we'll see if that holds true to form. Good evening and welcome to Manila, where hopefully we will have a thriller between Lithuania and Slovenia. And Lithuania getting in and missing Valanciunas with his first attempt. And uh, there's some history with these two teams. When you look back over the years and at the Olympic qualifying tournament in Kaunas, for example, for Tokyo, we see an early foul here. You know, Lithuania. You would think that even, even that would be some additional incentive. Interesting call here early. Slovenia ran a, a stagger split away, and Brezdikas was called for body on Zoran Dragic. Zoran's an active cutter. He can be difficult to contain sometimes.
Doncic steps back. A little bit short. Jokovitis takes it deep and scores. Preplic left open, and being a Preplic knocks down the three. Spain pick and roll action. Doncic distributes to the wing. They feed the post and post reaction three. Good teamwork on that possession from Slovenia. He hasn't really shot three point shots well, as you can see from that graphic. That was a good sign, but Demcha has. And there's Toby. That was a pistol action on the side. Opened up Toby's roll, a great pass from Zoran Dragic. The alley-oop! Bound Judas! Doncic, a long three. That's good. He's incredible. Yeah, Dimsha just got caught going under the screen. Doncic recognized the space and made him pay. Here's the lob. Uh, Valentunas did the right thing just by coming down with it. Two possessions in a row. Jakobaitis at pace, at tempo, into the paint. Slovenia's got to slow him down. There he is again. Luca gets it deep, puts it up and in. And the fans of Baltegas tonight, I think, uh, might be getting a show from Luka Doncic. He's already off to a good start. There is an attempt at the alley-oop. I mean, there's, there's a little bit less of an edge, obviously, than last night against Canada here. Prepilich misses. So Doncic is targeting pick and rolls and actions with Valanciunas in the early going. Demcha from downtown. And again, good job by Lithuania. They are making Doncic guard, trying to set up Demcha. He's buried two threes. Make Doncic work defensively. There's the pass to Toby. Oh, Toby misses, gets it back, gets blocked. Has it knocked out of his hands by Ignis Brasdakis. And Valentunas did a good job of drawing the foul on Preplic, swinging his arms up. So you can uh, yes. see there, Jeff, there's no impact on the ball. Toby just kind of in no man's land, allowing Valanciunas to get behind him. He's got a drop with a diver. Mike, you were at the uh, the OQT, the Olympic qualifying tournament for Tokyo, and played both of these teams That's right. when you were coaching Poland. And I'm telling you right now, I mean, nobody was beating Slovenia that, that year. And they even won against Lithuania in Lithuania. But again, they had a couple more players. And I guess that's probably a tournament that you'll never forget for how dominant and how difficult Doncic and Slovenia were. Yeah, he, at, in that summer, in that Olympic qualifying tournament and Olympic run, he elevated the play of everyone on that team. Now the dangerous thing for Lithuania is they are giving Doncic real pick and roll coverage, and he is so intelligent and is known to pick that apart. Here's Valanciunas. Oh goodness! The rim rocker. But Jeff, Mike Toby's got to give more physical resistance on the defensive end there. Nikolic. So 
So we're going to see Giga Demets come into the game, perhaps uh, because of the reason that you just said. Get some flesh on Valanchunas. Then she missed everything. Kocic taking the attempt, missing, kind of fading. Look at Lithuania pass it up the floor, and they get a layup. But Jeff, shot selection is critical. Luca kind of took a flyer on the baseline and did get back in transition. That's like starting a fast break for an outstanding transition team like Lithuania. Razdekis again. Lithuania trying to get the bad taste out of their mouth from their loss to Serbia in the quarterfinals, and they're on their way. So Jeff, here you see again, look at how much space Toby goes for the shot fake. Really poor defensive effort there from an excellent player. I mean, that's too easy for Valanciunas. You've got to give him physical resistance. You've got to battle him and look for Ziga Dimec. Here's the uh, the on the court with the ball. Jonas Valanciunas, the heat map. Look, where it's really red, that's where he has most of his touches. And that's exactly where he had the ball that time. You see, he's right at the average in terms of, you know, point uh, time with the ball. And again, he's so physical and strong. When they get him the ball in those spots, they're really good. Doncic throwing behind his back. Gets away. Set of Karaskis. Drives in and misses. So Tabasic is going to come in for Prepolic. And Alexei Niklic is going to come in. Giga Dimets, Giga Dimets has come in as well for Mike Toby. Oh. And Zoran Dragic missing from deep. But Jeff, that's how you want to see Doncic play. You want to see him really attack and make his teammates better. Really decisive in his actions. Well, a little bit, you know, you can't, I'll just throw this out there. It looks like Luka Doncic, uh, I'm not saying he's treating it like an all-star game, but certainly doesn't have the same, uh, the game doesn't have the same feel around him tonight that it had last night. Sense of urgency, potentially. But again, you, you know, he has the ability to make all of his teammates better. He's got the ability to score in several different ways. He's a complete offensive player. Look at this. Nicholas picks it up and puts it up and in. And again, this is what you want. Let Doncic create. Let him take the responsibility and the rest of these players finish a play with a catch and shoot jump shot or finish at the rim. Taranowskis to the corner to Mendogas Kuzminskis. And again, the drop pick and roll coverage up to touch with Dimech. They pull in the low man. Corner threes are open. Great recognition from Lithuania. Dimech sets the pick. And Doncic, well, spinning, turning, shooting, and even his dad likes it. He's over there clapping for it.
pass over to Karanowskis. And good work, Doncic. They're a little bit slow rotating to get over for coverage. So it's good to see the smile back on the face of Luka Doncic. Last night was uh, a difficult night for him. Well, Got ejected, Kevin. went to the press conference, admitted he was struggling with uh, his composure. And the game has so much, it's so much easier for him without Dylan Brooks being physically in front of him for 94 feet. Look at the drives player comparison with Roka Shokabaita, 7.3, 22nd, Doncic, 9.4, 11th. And you know, Jeff, Doncic, you know, has driven the ball, trying to draw so much contact, for example, in last night's game. That physically takes so much out of him. You'd like him to be more efficient with his energy, even when he's driving. Dodgers gave a great defensive effort against Normantis on that last defensive possession. Picked up the foul. So Trebasic with the foul. Alexei Nikolic goes out, Clement Prepolich comes in. Prepolich had himself a whale of a game last night. Yeah, he, he's such an experienced player, can be a big, productive player. Slovenia on end line, 2 3 zone here, this possession. Kuzminskis, three pointers good. They're just playing so well together offensively, shooting the ball with so much confidence. There he is, his second three of the game. High fives all the way around. We weren't doing that, but. And Clement Prepolich is going to be helped up here. So Monte Yunus called for the foul and Prepolich. Great shooter, but last night he had to do so much more. Uh, and especially after Doncic picked up his second technical, you know, he had, it was defense, drives, everything. They were just trying anything they could do. Okay, so you see on court, the, the heat map with Prepolich in this tournament, two seconds time for touch. And you can see the majority of it is beyond the arc. Well, he's known as a three-point shooter with deep range. That's why that area would mostly be red for him. And this is one of the strengths that he spaces the floor, stretches out the defense, and when Doncic finds him, he can step up and hit that shot. Normantis beats Ed. It's good. Really good teamwork right there from Lithuania. That's where Serbia were really able to guard the perimeter and make it a lot harder for them as the game wore on to get those good looks. Doncic drives in, and the foul is called. Look at how physical he is, splitting between defenders, drawing contact, and still with the extension all the way to the rim. Unfortunately, not able to get the roll. Luca's size. We're going to look at the Doncic heat map here, I believe. 
I love these heat maps, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's very interesting to take a look. And Lots where of he's getting his touches. Advanced numbers. We'll look at it. We'll look at it later, I think. We just got a heat check on our expectations. Karanowskis. For Normantis. So six point lead for Lithuania. This is the Mall of Asia Arena. A lot of big games have been played here over the years. Pass to Kuzmiskas, who takes it deep. He's got eight points. Great basket cut from the veteran Kuzminskis and a strong finish. Oh, Kauts is trying to go behind his back to go through. Goes down hard. And slow to get up. Well, that's a risky play to try to split the pick and roll defense with a behind the back. Again, you can see good defensive discipline by Normantis. The ball came right to him. Prepolich missing it from deep. Servitas drives in and banks it in right at the end of the quarter. Already, Lithuania with a 12-point lead at the end of one. Well, just good defensive discipline, really good teamwork on offense. They're doing what they've done, sticking with their identity. Excellent first quarter from Lithuania. You can take a look at the numbers. Five for six, three-point shooting. They're 72%, 13 for 18 from the floor, high percentage. 10 assists, one turnover, Lithuania. So again, the efficiency that we've seen all tournament. Well, 30 points in one quarter, that's a lot. Well, that's, and they've got 33. That's where it starts, Jeff. Slovenia's got to do a better job on the defensive end. But a lot of these things, their shot selection on the offensive side factors into their defense as it allows the opponent transition opportunities. And again, this Lithuania team pushes the ball well. They play at pace well. They hung with the United States playing fast. So you cannot help them. You know, you have to play intelligent. You've got to execute. You've got to get good shots. And that's clearly within the capabilities of Slovenia. They just have to have a little attention, better attention to detail. So the Mall of Asia Arena, of course, we also had games in the Araneta, which is where they had the famous fight, the Thriller in Manila. That was a good, almost 50 years ago, in fact. So look, download Courtside 1891 in your smartphone, scan in that barcode, and uh, as we've been telling you all tournament long, this is what you need. The home of the FIBA live streaming. Watch games from anywhere. FIBA windows and all competitions. The Basketball Champions League. Leagues all over. Your destination 365 days a year. If or if not, you're a basketball fan. Second quarter action is underway. And that is a traditional Slovenia set. A back screen into a handoff for a shooter. Prepolic got a great look. Just missed it. Good organization out of the quarter break. Nice no-look pass. Bringing it back out, Normantas. Servitas, that was short. Prepolic gets it to Horvat, who plays uh, with a lot of vim and vigor. And Giga Dimitz for a moving screen. So, Jeff, they Brought the ball back to Doncic, and Dimac tried to flip sides of the screen. You see here, he tries to catch Matiunas on the wrong side and create an advantage, but 
the timing was just off. Luca went a little too early, and he got caught moving. It's a good attempt. They just need to execute a little bit better. Servetus, he makes the three. And Jeff, on the exchange on the baseline, there was just too much separation between the Slovenian defenders and the Lithuanian shooters. Doncic from downtown. He just uh, feels more comfortable shooting threes than anything yeah. else on the court, really. That, that step back going to his left is just so natural. It's like automatic. Bounce pass to Motiunas. But again, the defensive discipline, a pin down, a curl, you need to be, you need to have no separation there. Connect with your player. Mike Toby picks it up, and that's short. And the whistle blows. Push, it's going to go the other way. Mike, we, we saw Mark Cuban, the owner of the Mavs, and uh, Jason Kidd in Cologne last year watching Don Do you think they've been keeping up with him in, a, in the States? 100%. Yeah, you know, this is your franchise player. Because I would assume if they were here, they'd be right on the front court. Yeah, right, without a doubt. Like last year. You know, it's you know you're definitely following his progress, seeing how he's doing. They had some seats down there with their names on them. I thought they were going to show up, probably just in case they did. There's Servetus missing. They missed a golden opportunity. A lot of stars down there. Doncic again. So again, Jeff, this is what you pay to see. And when he starts to get it going, just keep playing through him. The game comes so easy, but notice his accurate shooting, and it's so much easier for him on his body. Oh, nice turnaround from Monte Yunus. Toby counted. That's more like it for Mike Toby. So again, when teams give Slovenia real pick and roll coverage, Doncic will pick it apart. Here he is, look at this beautiful behind the back pass to Toby who can hit that pick and pop three. Great run here in the last few possessions from Slovenia. That was one of Doncic's threes. Let's listen to Kaziz Max Vitas. These two teams trying to get into the fifth place game. There's that camera again, look at that. And Jeff, you can see on that play, there's just too much separation right now between these Slovenian defenders and Lithuania wings. When we saw Slovenia go on their run to the Olympics, they really defended. We are not seeing the same defensive intensity and defensive effort out of the Slovenian team. And I know Coach Sekulic has to be driving himself crazy over there. If you're Lithuania, don't overreact right now. Keep doing what you're doing because you're getting what you want on this offensive end. Zedekaris gets missing it from the right corner.
Bullet pass to Prepolich in the left corner. Demcha from deep, and Valanciunas a little bit short with his putback attempt. Prepolich over to Toby. Ball lands to Prepolich. Bine Prepolich. And offensive foul on Prepolich. And Jeff, that's unnecessary. On the offensive rebound, he had Horvat in the corner. He passed the ball to him, and look. Just a little, try to set that screen. Hine Prepolich has played a lot. Probably eating a lot of the minutes that Edu Morris would have had. Oh. And Servitas gets deep, but Doncic just uh, swats it away. Just too much traffic in the paint there. No floor spacing. You see, look at that. Three Lithuania offensive players right around the rim. Your post-reaction strength can stretch the floor with three-point shooting. wonder what Sekulic is telling Toby right there that replay. So again, as we've seen throughout the tournament, Lithuania's front court is cross-matched. Sedekaris gets their best defender right here matched up. Dodge it. Oh, Toby tried to put back jam. And then his pass is intercepted by Jokovitis. So, Jeff, let's just talk for comparison here. Valanciunas leans in and draws a foul, and it's called immediately. How does that compare to Luka Doncic? Well, maybe it's just this one time. We've seen Valanciunas do it before. My point is, Luka Doncic is extremely difficult to officiate as he seeks out contact all the time. He plays to draw a foul almost every play. That takes wear and tear on his body. That, that really wears him out. You aim for more efficiency, but, you know, he is a difficult player for these referees to set the line between good defense and fouling. Dark Dragons is back in for Clement Prepolich. Oh, wow. That is a powerful drive from Luka Doncic. Strong with the ball as he drove and is strong enough to make the shot. And what I love about this possession is he's working off the ball. He makes a basket cut. He comes off a screen. He attacks the closeout defense, splits defenders, and is so strong and physical. I mean, and this is the point. He is so strong going to the basket, he shrugs it off and still finishes the play. Not shooting well at the line tonight. He's two of five from deep or from the free throw line. Shooting better from three point range, in fact. There's Toby, right corner. That's good. And Jeff, if you're Slovenia and Mike Toby, you love the last possession. Valentina settles for a soft, contested face up jumper that rims out, and then you run the floor in transition and get an open three. Like, this is uncharacteristic for Valanciunas in Lithuania. Oh, 
I mean, the great thing, Mike, for me, this game, more than anything, is this crowd. I mean, it is packed. You know, you know, Manila loves basketball. They follow the NBA. But there's no doubt it's the Doncic factor, I think. Without a doubt, but he's a he's a superstar. He's one of the top players in the world. Fans love to see him. Look at this, just fantastic footwork. He's a multi-level scorer from the perimeter at the rim and in the mid-range. He can post up. Brilliant pick and roll player. Offensive foul. So they got Balanchunas on a hook as he worked for position inside. Here it is. I think that's why Balanchunas was looking over. <laughs> Well, the one thing I love about this Lithuania team is they're very poised. You don't see any wasted energy. They're, and that, I think this is one of the things why they're very efficient. Oh, oh goodness. Could it be? Oh, it went in and out. Heat check. Fans love to see Doncic dance. Krasdekis, good looking shot. Nope. Good possession for, for Lithuania there, but also solid defense from Slovenia. Here's Zoran. Oh, nice pass back. And Jeff Zoran is left handed. He tried to finish that with his right, but great basket cut. And also took a knock on his knee. So Jokovitis turns it into a four-point swing. You love the physicality of his finish. So now Doncic gets the call that he was looking for, but Lithuania don't agree with it. Well, but Demsha had his arms lowered. Yeah, so. and again. This is what makes him so difficult. I think that famous heat map that we've been looking for has finally uh, entered the building. We're going to look at that. And you can see where Doncic, where Doncic, excuse me, Doncic is getting all of his touches. Look at that. Man, it is hot. Jeff, Between he's, the three point line he's and hot half court. all over the half court. The, that's the entire half court. But you can see he's got it at the top of the key and on the block. He gets it everywhere. Yeah. I mean, even in those green areas, he gets touches. He has the ball at 4.2 seconds per touch. But he's a player you want the ball in his hands because he can single-handedly create an advantage and get your teammate an easy shot. Horvat comes into the game, so Luka Doncic goes out to sit down. 19 points. Also made the free throw. Free throws where he'd been struggling. Prasdekas, oh yeah, that's it. So that's fantastic teamwork and great point guard play from Jakobitis. Drives hard, gets into the paint, and makes the late delivery to the spotting up Red Stekas. Great job, Lithuania. Nice job, Zoran Dragic. And you love the teamwork. We we love the ball movement. 
great consecutive pass, and we know the competitiveness of Zoran Dragic. That's his first three points of the game. Good job, Zoran Dragic getting it and almost doubled out of bounds. Uh, the Lithuanian fans, even in this game, still nervous as they watch. Here's Zoran Dragic again. Are you kidding me? He's got a little bit of Luka in him. Or perhaps Goran. There's Ziga Samar. Hopefully he gets in the game. We haven't seen him play. Krasdekis steps back. Oh, yes. You can count that. And Lithuania on course for the century mark tonight. Dragic had that one gone. But that's great teamwork and recognition. Nikolic got the skip pass and made the next pass to his hot shooter. Great point guard play there. Slovenia adjusts into a 2-3 zone. Look for Lithuania basket cuts and shooters popping. Dimsa steps back. Oh, ow. Boy, they've heated up from deep, haven't they? So Lithuania now 9 of 15 from three-point range. Hey, Jeff, this is not an easy shot. Steps to the side, splash. Even had Gregor Provrat in his grill. There's a good view of the arena. I believe that's the rail cam. Oh, no, no. What is it? No, that's the camera from behind the basket. It's it's called Sky 4, Jeff. Sky 4. Sky 4, okay. Six points for Zoran Dragic. He had a couple three-pointers. And out of these late clock situations, Slovenia will traditionally go to a hammer screen in the corner or a Spain pick and roll action in the middle. It looks like they're setting up a Spain. Luca wanted it to start at 10 seconds. Dragic got out of there. Five on the shot, four, three. And they were trying to get. Doncic trying to get a foul called on the three, didn't get it. Yeah, it, I mean, what can you say to one of the best players in the world, but how much better would he be if he didn't try to play for fouls as much? Yeah. Jokobaitis you know, says third, he gets it to Brasdekas. And almost, but I don't think it would have counted. Fifty-three, forty-three, Lithuania on top of Slovenia at halftime. So 
also, Jeff, you see these numbers, nine for 15, threes for Lithuania. Slovenia's made nine as well, but just more efficiency on the Lithuania side. Slovenia is out rebounding Lithuania, 20 to 16, that's great. They've only allowed two offensive rebounds from the big Lithuania front court, but 15 assists for Lithuania are outstanding. And the big number for me, there's two. 22 to four points in the paint for Lithuania and 22 to two bench points. So the key players tonight, Balanchunas and Doncic, and Doncic, I guess not surprisingly, almost doubling the points of Balanchunas. Balanchunas with the six rebounds, the five rebounds for Doncic. And second quarter best plays. A lot of three-pointers were made. Yeah, again, if you're trying to win an upset game like Slovenia and overachieve, you need to defend better. And this has been a very impressive Lithuanian offensive team in the World Cup. They've got good balance inside out. They've shot the ball extremely well. Number one three-point shooting team in the World Cup. You've got to defend them better. And right now, Lithuania 57% at halftime. Jakub Lazic having to sit this one out and watch. Just has not really been fully fit during this uh, entire World Cup. You know, Slovenia made a nice run, cut into the lead. But there was a good response from Lithuania to rebuild it and get it back to a 10-point halftime advantage. Like a play like that, Jeff. Nobody stops the ball until he gets all the way to the rim. Slovenia has to really buckle down on the defensive end. So at halftime, 53-43, Lithuania on top of Slovenia. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin Basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Hustles, gets it back. Quick pass, wide open. Jovic, and hangs on the rim for emphasis. Jeff, that's his great teamwork and awareness in the scramble. Davis Bertan, well. Gonna go up now. Look at this. Mount low up to Bo Bonder. Oh, Bo Bonder. Maybe eat some of those Bo cookies. <laughs> and getting Germany in front. Nice pass to Portis. Breakdown defensively. And how many times have we seen Halliburton get into the paint and make a beautiful no look pass? Guarded by Brooks, he spins, he gets away from him. Look at that finish. Just enough English to put it up and in. It's all Peter Bilfan in the house. Won in 1978 this title with Yugoslavia. Oh! That's more like it for he, Paolo. He took that one off the board. Now Reeves from the right corner. What the fans came to see, Austin Reeves. He was wide open. Targars drives in. Are you kidding me? Targars with a hang time drive. Look at Schroeder, though, gets it back. And he puts up the lob. And that is probably the best play of the game from Schroeder getting it right back and throwing it up there for Tice. 
Look at that. Halliburton. Oh! The back jam from Austin Reeves. Who saw that coming? And now Edwards gets a steal. And if Italy do not put the brakes on this USA run right now. Alexander Walker goes in for the rim rocker. Again, no rim protection, no size. This is a small ball game. Alexander Walker. Oh, Procedo, what are you doing? And the alley oh! And Bancaro this time does not lay it up. He scores right at the end of the third quarter. Buzzer. Between the legs, alley -oop pass. Yes! I love it, Jeff. Yes! I'm sure you can have something better. That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. Luka Doncic with 19 points. He's hit three threes. In fact, he's missed his last three. Started three of three, four of seven at the line. So he's improved at the line because he was uh, struggling away there, two and five, two for five. And overall, again, pouring in 19 points, I guess. He's got 19 of, he's got almost half of his team's points. That was his most impressive make. Well, he could take over the game, and that's the concern if you're Lithuania, but I wouldn't overreact because at this point, Lithuania has been really efficient on the other end. You see the balanced shot chart there. Three for six from three. Three finishes in the lane area. The big difference in the game is points in the paint, Jeff. 22 to four for Lithuania. And Jonas Valanciunas is leading the way. 10 points for his team, Lithuania. Early in the game, that 1-5 pick and roll with Jakobaitis was really effective. When they started to try to post Valanciunas, the, the post reaction that we've seen them be so efficient at really was non-existent. They tried to just make basket cuts and there was too much, they, you know, they didn't space the floor or share the, the, the spacing on the floor well. Let's see if they can improve in that area in the second half. So three of seven, all of his makes in the lane. And we've seen Valanciunas be super efficient and finish all his plays. So if you're Slovenia and you're saying, hey, Valanciunas has 10 points, but he's three for seven, I mean, you take it at halftime. Here they are coming back out for the second half. And I guess they'll have a little bit of time after the World Cup to themselves, won't they, before they report for duty to the NBA? NBA players for sure, but you know, Jeff, the European teams and club teams around the world have already started their preseason preparation, friendly games. So some of these players will have to go right back to their preseasons with their clubs. Usually they'll, you know, be given a few days and allowed to rest after a a month's run or a month and a half's run with their national team. But, you've, you know, we talked about when I coached in our last game in Beijing, I left that day, flew overnight, landed in Hamburg, Germany, had maybe a, a few hours and then coached a preseason game.
Did you sleep on the plane? I slept on the plane, and, you know, you just suck it up. But, you know, that's the thing that, you know, players and coaches all over the world will do whatever it takes to, you know, help their teams. I think I flew home from that World Cup as well. Got home and home instead of coaching a game, I to beautiful took, Valencia. Took a, took a nap. See, but that would be the ideal plan. <laughs> so Valanciunas will go back to the NBA. Doncic obviously will. I'd really like to know why Giga Samar hasn't played, because he played quite a bit last year at the Eurobasket. Yeah, rising young point guard, property of Alba Berlin in the German Bundesliga, had a very good season for the Hamburg Towers. Talented young point guard. There's Luka Doncic coming out home to the uh, tunnel to the court. Jeff, what do you think about the Slovenia fans with the green hair? Does that remind you of a tree? <laughs> yes. It, the, actually, you know, their slogan is, I feel Slovenian. Yeah, and, and again, and it from makes me feel Slovenia, just your experience at it. in Slovenia, the beautiful nature. You know, what, what I loved about the old Slovenia uniforms were, it was kind of like the Denver Nuggets. They had the mountains within the design. Yeah, that, that's true. Actually, that's where I met you in Slovenia. That's 2013. right. That's right. You were the assistant coach for the Czech, Czech Republic. Checking, checking things out. Yes, you were. You were, you were happy to be there. Look at this. Nice to see these shots. Haven't seen Sadekarska's really really good going tonight. Well, Seda Kerskis has been such an important part of this team. At certain points in that first half, they did use the Lithuanian cross match in the front court, putting Seda Kerskis on Toby and protecting Valanciunas with a matchup on Bine Prepolic. Let's see if that continues in the second half. Yeah,
in your smartphone. Great, great app to have. Great to hear these old songs from our days, Mike. And they're remixed. Yeah, they're remixed. Just goes to it's show the that best of both worlds. Everyone's happy. We're, it's vintage. It's like us. We're vintage. We're like throwbacks. Did you know that? That's what everyone around the, the hotel is saying. Those two guys are throwbacks over there. Well, the, the one big change to the game is uh, in the refereeing department. Uh, the crew chief was Matthew Lee Calio from Canada, and uh, he wasn't feeling well, so he has gone and he's been replaced by the referee from Argentina. That's unusual. What, an Argentinian referee replacing a Canadian referee? No, just uh, any oh. referee at halftime. Oh, sorry. Oh. Look at that. With a steal. Luca wants a foul. I think that was well played by Jakobaitis. He made a play on the ball in front of him. But really good defensive discipline there. Intelligent defender, Doncic. Stayed in position, they threw the ball right to him. The oh. lob to Toby! And when Slovenia has been at their best over the last few years, that was it. Regular pick and roll coverage. You know, Luka just making his teammates better. Beautiful pass, a great finish from Toby. Valachunas puts it over the rim here. A little bit of run, perhaps, in the works here for Doncic in Slovenia. Long rebound goes out to Toby. So now Nikolic has it. And Ignis Prasdekis reaches in and steals it. It's Juan Fernandez as the new referee from Argentina. I think you probably appreciate my knowledge in that regard. And that's not an easy situation to be thrown into the fire at halftime. I guess it happens. I hope Matthew Callio is okay. There is uh, the dunk from Toby. Jokobitis in the lane, gets it to drop. And that's outstanding. The throwback behind, he played off the catch, got right into the lane. I love Jakobitis' pull-up jump shot. Outstanding, he's so physical. Oh boy. <laughs> if they score here, that's crazy. The pass from Dragic was deflected twice on Lithuania and it ended up into the hands of Nikolic. Jeff, just like they drew it up. <laughs> run, run the deflection, deflect it. <laughs> Now his pass, Valanciunas' pass is deflected. Yeah, Valanciunas has to play to a higher standard. He's such an outstanding player. Got to be more efficient. He's too hesitant against the double oh. team. Oh, oh, the crowd was going to love it. Look at the great hustle from Provat. Toby for three. Good. Mike Toby has got his three-point shot back tonight. He had three on opening night. He was... Three of three, and this is his best night from behind the arc since, and that's all due to the great hustle of Provet. Yeah, and again, the offensive rebound. Valanciunas is an inside defender. It's not easy for him to guard those shooting fives. Those shots can be there. Scramble, Toby makes him pay. Mike Toby. 
has not seemed to be at his best at this World Cup. Uh, but tonight he's got 13 points and eight rebounds. Well, he's got that potential to make Valanciunas pay as a pick and pop five. You know, Jeff, one of the things that's happened at this World Cup is teams know that the rest of this supporting cast is not as powerful. You can see he's got 13 in the game today, already above his average, but they've just switched to pick and rolls and made Doncic go one-on-one -on -one and really made him work and be physical. But that's taken away the beautiful pick and roll teamwork between Doncic and Toby. Jokobitis the lob. Jokobitis hesitating, freezes the coverage. Valanciunas slips in behind. Beautiful play, Jokobitis and Valanciunas. That's his seventh assist of the night. Toby. Jeff, Toby's got to shoot that. And Brasdakis fouls Gregor Horvath. Here's the lob to Valanciunas. Again, that's got to be communication between the on-ball defender, Doncic, and the big man defender, Toby. Jakobaitis did a great job stretching it out. Do you think that Marcos Bisu of Italy gave Tadas Sadekerskis his shoes after he left tonight? Or no, it wasn't, it, it was... It was... Uh, Prochita. Prochita. Was it his, the, the light green shoes? I just think these are two outstanding young European forwards who had the same taste in shoes. <laughs> Here goes Jokobitis. Prasdekis puts it up. Brezdek is so strong with the ball, created that shot. And the whistle blows and two free throws. Ooh, careful, Kazis. Kazis Maxvitas might get teed up. Look at this. Okay, is there a foul here? Look. No. I mean, there was a reach. And look at Doncic. Trying to milk the situation, asking for the coach to get a technical. Well, I defend Kaz Maxvitas in this situation. And it, it, but again, let's point to the fact that Doncic is so difficult to officiate yeah. because he is searching out contact. He's initiating contact on most plays. This was contact anticipated, but again, you know, I, I will say this, Doncic has been beat up through the most of this tournament that it's okay if he gets one. Yeah, fair enough. By beat up, you mean physical Just contact. Super made. physical contact, None. game after game after game, possession after possession. Not beat up when he walks in the hotel. No, no, no. Jokobitis. Here we go, Brasdekis. And that seems to have lit a fire under Lithuania, that last yeah. sequence. But Jokobaitis did such a great job getting into the lane deep, pulling the defense in, and that late delivery kick out attacking the help side. Great point guard play by the young Lithuanian floor general. Oh. Doncic. Okay, so I think Sekulic are gonna they're gonna challenge it. The ball was ruled that it was thrown out of bounds. So now has it been touched by Valanciunas? Well the question here, Jeff, is Do you want to use the challenge? Yeah, I this mean time? you have three set three point nine seconds on the shot clock. You have the opportunity to set your defense either way. Let's go for the best angle. Let's go a little bit far worse. Let's go. 
Okay. Let's see, we have another one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go that one. Go big frame by frame. Okay, so I have the last touch on why. You got the same? No. Why is this the last touch? Okay, so we have so we have the ball out of bounds, blue ball. Blue ball. And hold on a second. So we got a ball out, we have blue ball out of bounds, four seconds on the chop clock. The challenge is successful, it's blue ball. So you got a, you got a ball side out with four seconds. So the challenge was used, and always the coach usually is a little bit frustrated because they're like, why did we have to use our challenge for that? But that's why the challenge is there. Yeah, to try to win it, and they got it. They were successful. So that's it, end of the story. But Jeb, honestly, how many times do you see Doncic make a bad pass like that? Never. Yeah, yeah slim and never. There's Doncic missing it. He seems to have pulled off a bit. Good work. Oh. And after that, they lose possession. On the last possession, you could see Doncic, how much did he accomplish in four seconds there? Outstanding. Got a great look. Again, just unfortunate turnover, miscommunication between Slovenian players. Five point advantage now for Lithuania. And Valanciunas fouled by Toby. I like. Sorry about that, Jeff. I liked Valanciunas. He was more decisive that time in the post. Went no, to the basket. It, they called on Nikolic. So back to a seven-point lead. Doncic has two fouls, uh, three fouls for Chabasic, Chabasic, three fouls for Dimcha. He's on the bench right now. Here's Doncic, and again another miss. Be careful, look like he kicked out at uh, Valanciunas. <laughs> Slovenia looking a little scrappier at the moment. Rikovitis missing, look at Valanciunas. And he's fouled on the putback attempt. Toby has to go out. But you know, this is what Valanciunas does. He just drives you under the rim. So Toby's got to play wider and lower and try to win position as that drive is happening and the shot goes up. Let's see if Ziga Dimec can be a little bit more physical with the big imposing presence of Jonas Valanciunas. I never asked you, did you like the song that was written about Jonas Valanciunas? You know what? I'm going to have to listen to that tonight and get back written with you. Written and sung. I would. My I, name is Jonas Valanciunas. I would really like to hear that. I just can't remember. Was it before the draft, before he got drafted or after? I think it was before he got drafted. 
Yeah. Here they are driving and the miss. Jeff, give Slovenia oh. credit. Oh, good read by Jokobitis. And then he goes in for the layup. That's a frustrating sequence for Slovenia because now the lead is 11. They had it down to four. We're going to see Glass check into the game. Lithuania reading the passes right now. Here's Jokobitis on that drive after. Yeah, Jokobitis is all business. He got the ball, and he is pushing the ball in transition right to the rim. He is making plays. Eight points, eight assists. Jeff, solid. Solid. Solid indeed. So timeout on the court. Let's go down and listen. Well, it's great to see Ignis Brazdakis in this Lithuanian national team. We saw him at the Eurobasket last year. And he was good then. Uh, and it seems like he's gotten even better this year. He's got 11 points tonight. Inbounds pass as play resumes to Demets. And Nomantis goes down after a knock. Oh, it was in, from contact with Normantas. Hopefully he's okay. I wonder if they should bring him out. It was definitely uh, with the contact with Doncic as he kind of went forward. And Kazis, Max Vitas want to challenge it to see if there's an unsportsmanlike. like. Backwards and then playing our normal speed, please. Normal speed. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Now just playing our normal speed. No, I, uh, I just have an unfortunate contact. I, I don't believe he's, he's making that on purpose. He's just incidental, 100%. He's not looking the the, 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 the offensive play in the back. So I believe we, we keep with a, we, with an all call on the floor. We got a ball side out with 14, uh, 14 seconds on the chalk block. Side out. We 
Well, Kazis Maxvitas felt like Giga Demets got him with the elbow in the back of the neck. And the referees were saying that, as you heard, they thought it was just overcome. Seeing Sandhan and Forte is not in purpose. You go side out. So I'm not sure what they're delayed. Something about the time. Yeah, 4.6 seconds. So that's what Lith Lithuania. So Kulic was complaining, thinking there should have been a timeout call. If they, there should be that delay, but they just challenged it. So I don't know what the problem is. Anyway, they're going to continue with 4.6 seconds. And Thons, it's a long way out. And after that lengthy delay, Good job reaching in and taking it away, Nikolic. And a similar situation to last time, but they blew the whistle of the foul. The yeah, Lithuanian bench is complaining. So we're, uh, listen, we're calling because he's reaching on that one. That's that the call that we have. Why are you calling? He's reaching on that one. So he's going vertical and then he's reaching. It, it, I'm, it, I'm, it was in contact to the head. I know, it was but, I'm, I know but I'm explaining you. I'm explaining what he did. Uh, I mean, I'm but trying to be, to I'm trying body, to be honest. To the head, to the I got head. it. I got it. So Doncic is able to get to the free throw line. Makes the first. <laughs> Certainly, Lithuania did not want to be having uh, fouls called because there was a lot of debate last night about the physicality of the game. Perplexing, isn't it? Well, Doncic is so gifted and so talented, one of the best players in the world. But as we say, he plays too many possessions for fouls. Right. And that's what makes it so difficult. Like, that was like a bailout on the baseline. But yeah. he was fouled. Yeah. Nice shot by Monte Yunus. Steps back. And good move by Provat, who got it into the shooting motion. So he's going to go to the line. Like, Jeff, this last attempt from Doncic, he makes a beautiful step back to create a great look for himself. It just rims out. They get the offensive rebound and draw a foul. But again, if that energy and effort can be focused on shot creation alone, rather than, you know, trying to put the referees in a difficult spot where they have to make a call every yeah. single possession. Yep. I just think it's better used. Focusing on Focusing getting, on, hey, I, shots. I'm using my talent for great shots. Oh, Servetus travels. So Karanowska is coming back in, and it feels like right now Kazis Maxvitas doesn't think he's. Oh, he, does, he definitely travels. The question was whether he was hit beforehand, but you get the feeling that Kazis Maxvitas is uh, feeling like they're being victimized a little bit. <laughs> oh, and there is Horvat losing his feet. Servitas goes down for the dunk. 
and, and Horvat has played so hard today. Just really unfortunate there, losing his footing. There's Glass going behind his feet. He gets it over to Horvat. He puts up a little runner. Demets with the rebound. And then he is fouled by Kuzminskis. And it's great to see these Slovenian bench players get opportunities here to help the team get experience. Great job from Coach Nikulic getting the minutes. But Jeff, visibly, this is a different Slovenian team than we've seen from the last few years. The level that got to the Olympics, the level that, you know, has been so successful. Yeah, you can see that Horvat just uh, lost his footing. And all respect to these players, but, you know, let's let's give this team credit for ascending to this point in the World Cup. But Lithuania leading by nine points. Moti Yunus goes out, Valanciunas comes back in. The winner of this game will take on Latvia in the battle for fifth place. I guess Latvia is this year's Czech Republic, maybe? Potentially? Yeah, they, they've been a great story. They're fun to watch. And uh, Valanciunas scores. And now Doncic goes down. My Valentinus may have caught him with his elbow going up. It just grazed the face. Watch this. The problem is for Slovenia is they've used their challenge, so they can't use it to go review it. Well, Doncic did get hit, there's no doubt, but when you're playing physical tough defense, rotating over on a guy like Valchunas, that's a possibility. Well, that was definitely an elbow by Karanowskis. So again, uh, no, be no, because we don't have any more. He already used it on the out of bounds. That's a reset. That's on the rule. It's not on me. Because they didn't call the foul, they can't then go and review it. Right. And again, Had they called a foul, then they could review it, whether or not to upgrade it or downgrade it, whatever, if they... And Jeff, you pointed out Slovenia used their challenge earlier on the errant pass that was deflected out of bounds. Which that did get in possession. It did, but that's also their choice to use it or not at right. that point. Right. Momantis goes down. Nikolic gets his hands on it. Are Slovenia going to come up with it? It's the jump ball. Gregor Glass in there battling away. Doncic again, spinning. Horvat for three. Oh. So, Lith Lithuania triple teams Doncic on the post. He makes a great pass out. Horvat just rims out the three. Final 20 seconds of the third quarter. Kuzminskis gets it up. Oh! For the second time, reminiscent of what happened against the USA. Not quite as difficult as that shot he was able to get off in time. What a shot. 
Remember against the USA, he hit it falling out of bounds. And Doncic can't buy a three-pointer right now. He started three of three. Here's uh, Kuzminskis hitting it right at the shot clock buzzer. So he's missed, Doncic has missed his last nine threes. Lithuania lead it 75-63 at the end of three. So 11 for 17 from three for Lithuania. 11 for 32 from Slovenia. Just a lot less efficient, but great looks there for Doncic in the third quarter. Here was that beautiful pick and roll play to start it off to Toby. Jakobaitis turning the corner. Great pull up jump shot at the nail. The deflected pass into the corner. Again, Toby sparking the Slovenia comeback with his three point shooting. Lithuania did a good job to rebuild it. There was a beautiful pick and roll play. Delivery over the top from Jakobaitis. Kuzminskis cheering along on the bench. Again, Muncy Yunus, he's been a key backup big for this Lithuania team in the World Cup. And what do you say, Kuzminskis? Hi, Jip. How you doing? Well, let's ring it up. FIBA Basketball World Cup app. Get it in your smartphone by scanning it in that barcode there. Got everything you need. What a great app it is. Videos, everything. Results. You got it. Look at Chip up there. That's one talented mascot. I could uh, also that you could get courtside 1891, home of FIBA live streaming, watch games from anywhere. So you can download that through the app or sign up through the web for FIBA live streaming. So, can Slovenia come back and take the lead? First possession there. Kazmax Vitas goes to posting up his wing and running the same screen the screener post reaction. They get Valanciunas an open three at the top of the key. You know, how, you know who we haven't seen much of tonight? That was a vital part last night. There's Kuzminskis. Oh! And that was a dagger. It's now a 15-point lead. We have not seen Clement Prepolich much at all. Whistle blows again. However, we are going to see Prepolich right now. Only it's not Clement, it's Benny. Benny. So the foul in Lithuania puts uh, four fouls on Dimcha and Gontic now goes back to the line where he'll try to get back on track. Maybe making free throws will help his help him score from the floor. Well, you know, sometimes, Jeff, when you have responsibility to do so much for your team, it just takes a toll physically on you and it impacts your shooting. And I think this is the situation with Luca. He's just relied upon to do so much playmaking, ball handling. He'll post up, penetrate. It's hard for him to get that dynamic three-point shooting rhythm going when he has so much responsibility to produce. So they're trying to make a substitution, Lithuania. And Dempsey goes out. Because he smacks me. 
Because this Max Venus is pretty hot tonight. He's getting his money's worth over there, Jeff. Ooh. You love the physicality of Jonas Valanciunas. I do. Ooh. That's where he got locked up. And again, you know, Doncic has given up his body defensively. He's taking some hits, putting in a good defensive effort here today. Slovenia in his own. 13-point lead, Lithuania. Nomatas. And this great three-point shooting team at this FIBA Basketball World Cup is right now just knocking them away, one after the other. Up to 16 points. And that's a great pass from Doncic. Nikolic could just knock it down. Again, some good looks for the Slovenia team in the second half. Giga Samar checking in. I love it. Valanciunas on the baseline, scores over Shiga Demets. And this uh, lead has gotten out of hand. 18-point advantage for, look at that, 18-point advantage for Lithuania. And Valanciunas is just having himself a nice game. 20 points, 10 rebounds. You know, again, give Demets credit. He's being more physical one-on-one, -on -one, but Here's the, here's the tough part. He just faces up and shoots right over the top. Well, Jonas, Jonas uh, Valanciunas has a lot of points and rebounds, but this guy has been getting it done once again. Mandogas Kuzminskis, three-point shooting. He's got 14 points, and there are the numbers. He is perfect from deep. And you saw the bench scoring, which is 35 points from the bench for Lithuania and just eight for Slovenia. Foul has been called on uh, Karanowskis. Dodge it's a short, and the ball goes off of Samar and out of bounds. So the foul is Giga Simar. It's now three. Feels like the game doesn't have any flow. Do you feel like that? Yeah, it's, it's, this has not been an easy second half here. Lithuania has just come out and asserted itself and kind of broke the game open. But again, they're working harder together for good shots. Servidas. Well, the three pointers are falling for Lithuania. Fourteen to twenty-one. Wow. Samar catches, gets it over to Glass. That's what he's known for, Gregor Glass. Get him the rock.
Seven minutes remaining. Servetus, another three attempt for him. And Valanciunas with the putback attempt. And now Prepolic has been knocked out of his hands by Kuzminskis. And Servetus just scoops it up and puts it up and in. Glass again, and he doesn't make this one. Six minutes remaining. Uh, another foul called. Chabashik coming in. There's the Slovenia bench. And uh, last. They were worried that he had lost it out of bounds, but it'll main, it'll be with Slovenia. But yeah, this is tough work. Some of these possessions, Mike. Doncic puts it up, and he's fouled by Normantas. And this just adds to the uh, uncomfortableness of the situation. Look at this. But this is where Normantis needs to own up. Yeah, so again. I mean, because he's just got him on the hand. Yeah, it, it's clearly a foul. But live with that step back three. You're up 20. Boy, he's having a, a tough shooting night. Missed two free throws. Nice. 10 of 15. Tough night for Slovenia, as you can see. So he makes one of three. Even on a tough shooting night, though, Luca has 26 points. But, Jeff, part of that is his usage. He has the ball in his hands, so many possessions, and he's getting shots. So he should hold himself to a high standard, the highest standard of efficiency. And unfortunately, a lot of possessions, he's playing for fouls and settling for not the best shots. That pass intended for Toby. Under five minutes remaining. Servetus left wide open. But again, Jeff, you have teamwork. Reading the defense, making the extra pass, resulting in a wide open shot. Excellent, you know, offensive possession. You have a multiple effort going to the boards, losing it out of bounds. You just don't see the same level of effort and execution, urgency on this Slovenian team. Now the pass gets away, and Kuzmis gets fouled by Chabashik. So Mike, looking ahead to uh, the semifinals tomorrow. We've got one Germany USA, which is going to be at nighttime. And uh, the first game will be Serbia squaring off against. Do you remember? You coached there this summer.
Canada. Canada. <laughs> well, I think it's a fantastic challenge for Canada. How about Valanciunas just throwing down a dunk? I think Serbia Canada will be a really interesting game, contrasting styles. See how you know this Canadian team will match up against you know a traditional European squad. And also too to see how the strong Serbian defense matches up with potential MVP Shea Gildas Alexander. So Giga Samar goes out, gets coached up a little bit by Sekulic. And Nikolic comes back into the game. Well, Luka Doncic has already attempted 82 free throws in this FIBA Basketball World Cup. Only one player has had more attempts in a single tournament over the last 30 years, and I bet you can't tell me who it is. Take a guess. Take a wild guess. Jeff, I'm going to guess Dirk Nowitzki. I don't believe it. You're right. How did you know? Uh, I seem to hear, have heard my good friend David Hain bring that point up. David Hain or David Hine? David Hine, excuse me, my American pronunciation. So that was in 2002 when he was the MVP. Excuse me. Uh, the German, he needed nine games to do it, while Doncic has done it in seven games. Impressive. That, that is. Important trivia brought to you by... TNT. Nine. That's it. TNT and H. TT and H. David has all kinds of excellent facts that we generally discuss over lunch or breakfast. David. David Hain. <laughs> We're going to laugh about that. Yeah. There. Ooh. Oh boy, the ball got, got away. There he is. Might get some more free throws. Nope. Ball just isn't dropping tonight for Luka Doncic. So, who do you have tomorrow? Canada or Serbia? And who do you have? Germany or USA? You know. Every time you think, every time you write off somebody, somebody else comes up, the, the, the team that you write off. I didn't write off Serbia, but man, that was a powerful performance they yeah. put on against Lithuania. I, I they have, were amazing. I have United States over Germany. I think that nice oh. backdoor cut. Ooh. Oh, set of Kerskis, get it out of here. Dragic says, well, okay, we'll take the three then. I, the two teams met in Abu Dhabi. Germany had a 16-point lead in the third quarter, and then USA came back. Great play, you know, come back from Anthony Edwards. 99-91 win in preparation. I don't know if there'll be any, if they'll have any, you know, mental advantage. Oh. How about that? Zeta Karras gets, gets an easy one. But I think Germany, you know, they will need their entire roster to play well in that game. Boy, Dra Dragic. Zora Dragic has been bearing the three-pointers tonight.
four of eight. Yeah, he's remember hit two in a row. Then he went for a third. And Yoko is missing. There's a good actually semifinal expert preview piece on uh, FIBA Up Basketball. You go to the World Cup website, you can read that. Some interesting points made. There is a basket by Brasdekis. And the key, the, one of the keys by one of the experts was that Dennis Schroeder must have a great game if Germany are going to win against the USA. Do you agree with that? Well, I think they they need their entire team to have a great game. You know. Oh, nice. Boy, they rescued it. Is Dragic going to get another three? Nope, it's going to be Doncic shooting. Bam! He was able to knock one in. Back to a 16-point deficit. Ooh. And Saito Karaskis getting in and fouled by Doncic. But, Jeb, I think that there will be no surprises with Germany and the USA. You know, Germany can score and play at, at pace with the United States. The question is how long. I think the United States will take their game to the next level. They've done a great job. As Doncic subs out. The United States has done a great job growing through the tournament, learning from the Lithuania loss. They know they'll be they'll need to be at their best. And I think they'll respect Germany because of that matchup in Abu Dhabi. And then on the other side, I think Canada Serbia is going to be an outstanding semifinal. Come dinger. Contrasting styles. Canada like the USA going through the you know process of learning how to play the FIBA way. They've done a great job. And how does the Serbian defense deal with Shea Gilders Alexander? Well, it was a tough night for Slovenia. They, they had to play last. I mean, they played last night, so they had to come back out tonight. And uh, Prepolic hasn't been able to play. Speaking of Klimin Prepolic, you know, it was a tough game for them to come out. Lithuania, a little bit more rest. But these two teams getting over the disappointment of not winning their quarterfinals. But Lithuania came out and uh, had seen off Slovenia 100 to 84. Lithuania and Latvia will face each other in an all Baltic battle for fifth place. A Baltic battle, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's outstanding alliteration. But I mean, just exciting to think about Lithuania. I mean, that adds a little bit of spice. Slovenia, meanwhile, will take on Italy. And uh, there's Luca's dad. Also, up there next to him was Mat Mate Erzovic, the uh, president of the Basketball Federation of Slovenia. So, tough night for Slovenia. And Lithuania get the big win. So the fans are happy. Doncic came and played a lot of minutes tonight after a difficult night for him last night, which I think he admitted uh, some of the stuff uh, he brought on himself. But in any event, Lithuania get the winning feeling back. Kuzminskis continues to deliver big style, those big jump shots. This Lithuania team. Look at the, a lot of threes made tonight. Yeah, I mean, not much defense. You know, more defense from the Lithuania team. But this Lithuania team has earned their success here. They have played solid fundamental basketball. They've done very well. They took care of business out here today. Again, they can be proud of their World Cup to this point. And as you say, that battle for fifth place is going to be something special to watch. That'll be a game of these classification games that we'll really like to see. And you can see this really meant something to the Lithuanians, you know, because they want to finish as high as they can. 
at this at this event, and they it's much better to win than lose. Without and, a doubt. And they beat a team that had Luka Doncic on it, which adds a little bit of extra value to it, I guess. In front of a big crowd. Not an easy situation for Slovenia. Again, let's give this team credit to reach this phase. You know, again, the players are really working hard, trying their best. The expectations are extremely high with Luca on the roster. They have expectations because they've had tremendous success, great runs to the Olympics and things in recent years. It's one of those situations that, you know, not easy. I think they're they're facing, you know, the the stress of trying to win these games against good opponents and. They're being stretched to their limits here in these classification rounds. So Jonas Valanciunas, another uh, TCL MVP night with 24 points, 12 rebounds, just uh, pretty much always delivers. Had that big game against the USA. Yoko Bidas had the big game as well and Kuzminskis Brasdekas had the big game tonight Chavitas ended up with 14 points as well so a memorable evening for him Jeff 46 to 10 points in the paint Lithuania to Slovenia if so those two guys hugged at the end of the game and here we are at the end. So the Mall of Asia Arena is emptying out. Meanwhile, here is the action from today. Latvia winning it by five over Italy, 87-82, and Lithuania getting the big win over Slovenia, which we just watched, 100-84. to So they will battle Latvia for fifth place. Slovenia will go up against Italy in the battle for seventh. Well, the fans came out tonight to see Jonas Valanciunas and Luka Doncic and it was Valentunas leading Lithuania to victory. Thanks for coming, everybody.